Good morning YouTube, it's 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas and it's also freezing here in the state of Texas just like it is all across the country. It's 44 degrees right now in my workshop and when we did this project Saturday morning it was 4.15 in the morning. So what are we doing in today's project? We are taking a piece of cherry lumber and we're going to turn this thing down into a bowl because that's what we do on this channel. Really cool projects involving wood and we haven't done one of these in a while. So this is an 8x8x3 piece of cherry lumber. Picked this up uh, online for about 35 bucks months ago and just now have gotten around to doing something with it. So this is a very large piece of lumber here. And honestly, it's a little too big for my lathe, but we're going to work the problem and get it made. And right off the bat, we're already having problems with this project. Getting the faceplate on was kind of a hassle. Cherry is not a very hardwood to work with, but I had to come back and hit it with both my Ryobi and my DeWalt drill, and I have to get a new uh, piece to help put in screws now because I doled that one up. But here we are putting the actual blank onto the lathe, and you can just see how massive this is. And I know 8x8 is not very large for most woodworkers, but for my MIDI lathe, this was definitely a larger piece that I haven't been used to. But biggest problem with this project was taking a square and making it into a cylinder. Uh, you know, obviously that's always where we start. And I kind of wanted to put it on the bandsaw and just do like a circle, a circle on it and just work down a lot of that material. And I probably will do that in my next project if I uh, work with this again, which I definitely will. But it's just a lot easier when you don't have to have those square edges hitting up against your chisel because it tends to just start and stop the lathe, which I had a lot of problems with that earlier. So probably a better technique would have been to put the faceplate on, draw in the circle, take it over to the bandsaw, and just get the material off uh, with the saw instead of putting that onto the lathe and trying to turn a square into a circle. Not that it can't be done because obviously that's what we're doing here, but uh, just the amount of vibration and chisel issues that I had just trying to do that with this larger piece. I haven't done that actually in a very long time. Usually when I have done that, it's been with pine, uh, which is a lot softer, but uh, I think it would have saved myself a lot of hassle if I would have just taken it over to the bandsaw and just took those edges off to begin with. But you learn, uh, but that's just one technique that you can use in the future. But we ended up getting it done. You can see there I was trying to use the square carbide tool and it just vibrated and shards of cherry lumber hit me in the face. But wear your face shield. Safety first, people. But you can see there the tail stock uh, is just vibrating onto the lathe. And, you know, we're working off the material and we're eventually getting it to a cylinder. It's just the hassle of having to do that. But, uh, you know, it may just work the problem, work the problem. And again, I apologize for the lighting of this video. My new ring light is coming in the mail on Tuesday. Uh, if you guys saw last week's video, you guys got to see the smaller little ring light that I'm working with, and it's just not as bright as it could be. But uh, the quality of production will definitely go up next week when I get my ring light finally delivered. So by this time, we've already got everything worked down into like a nice bowl shape, and this cherry wood is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look like much now, but when we start to polish it, it will look a lot better. But uh, I wanted to save as much material as possible so I didn't do anything crazy with it, which I typically don't anyway, but uh, we're just making the mortise here and this took no time at all. Again, this is a very nice soft wood to work with. I can't wait to work with this wood again in the future. Uh, but this was 35 bucks for this wood blank and it was definitely worth it. A little pricey, but uh, probably later on in the year because I'm going to start making projects with lids. I'm probably going to do some different type of project where I do a lid with this. But uh, finally got everything shaped down the way that we want. You can see here just a nice big bowl blank here. Looks really, really cool. Uh, I always like working with softer woods, especially after you get everything into a, into a cylinder. It tends to you know, go a lot smoother up into this point. But everything's going pretty smooth. Happy how this turns out. Now we're just going to take that uh, tail stock get this uh, flattened down so that's what we're doing here with the square carbide tool and then we're gonna start the hard part which is gouging but gouging was very very easy on this project it the chisels ate through the material no problem whatsoever uh, nice soft wood not a whole lot of issues here uh, 
between the larger and the square carbide tool just ate right through it no problems whatsoever but you can see just all the amounts of shavings that we're getting here and the great thing about this was uh, you know these shavings I scooped up and saved and we would definitely be doing probably an epoxy project with them a little bit later in the year and here's just a little different angle but you can see just how messy everything is right here but uh, looks absolutely beautiful I really like this wood uh, a little bit later in the video you guys are gonna notice how you know cool this wood looks when we once we start to polish it up and everything uh, but you guys will be excited to know you know first time I'm announcing this we're gonna start doing two projects a week uh, this is 2024 I think I'm gonna get a little bit more ambitious with the channel and I'm gonna start doing two projects that will probably come out there will always be a project coming out Sunday and I think I'm probably gonna do projects on either Wednesday or Thursday and I think I'm just gonna you know decide what day I want to release that video so there will be a video on Thursday coming out and granted they will probably be smaller projects but I think I just want to start building the channel a lot more and getting a lot more practice in on doing these projects but they probably won't be as cool as this cherry wood project but it will definitely put something out uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays I think we're gonna try to for the remainder of 2024 and I know this is only like the second week of the year uh, but we're gonna try to do two projects a week which is super ambitious so hopefully everything goes smooth and we're able to do that but here we are toward the end of the project uh, you can see all these cool wood shavings again it's like this bright red reddish type color a lot of dust in there too but uh, looks really cool there's a horrible ring light that I use don't get that ring light it's horrible it barely throws out any light uh, but got the workbench cleaned up now we're gonna do my favorite part which is sanding we're gonna go from 50 to 80 to 120 220 to 340 grit and you don't have to spend a lot of time uh, sanding this down uh, this went relatively easy and yes I need to get some new sandpaper but got that all done now we're gonna use some Yorkshire grit and you're really gonna just see how well this wood just pops and the grain of the wood and the color and everything it looks really really good so I was you know just pasting this up it looks really really good you can see the grain come out once you polish and you put that abrasive on there and then we'll just give it a spin and really get that worked into the wood but it looks really really good also there's the back of my head and then we came back and we're gonna finish it off with some shallow wax just make it and give it a good shine and this will look really really good and I wish the light was a lot better because you would have gotten a better uh, view of just how well the uh, the grain and the color of the wood looks but it looks absolutely beautiful this is you know when I do get the opportunity to work with you know better woods like this I really appreciate it because it just looks so much cooler but you can already see that that reddish orange brown come right through and it looks really really good so really happy how this project turned out again I think I'm gonna learn from my mistakes of this video next time I'm gonna use a bandsaw to get a lot of that material work down so you can just see how cool this wood looks and we will definitely be doing this a little bit later. So hope you guys like this project. Again, like I said, we're gonna start doing two projects a week. We're gonna try to grow the channel. I think that's gonna be my goal for 2024. Just really try to grow the channel as much as possible. Still only gonna do projects that I wanna do and things that I like to build, uh, but I think I'm gonna start uh, really going full tilt with the channel. But hope you guys like this week's project. I loved it. Cherry wood looks great. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, peace. All right, so project is done. And this little guy, actually this big guy, turned out really, really cool. So this is cherry wood. I went over that in the commentary, picked this blank up online and just kind of been sitting in the house for a while and finally got around to turning it. But I really like the grain. Once we put the polish on there and everything, it really just pops really really cool so it is 42 degrees in the shop I think hold on actually it's 44 degrees but uh, we're supposed to get a crazy cold front actually the whole country is supposed to get a crazy cold front here uh, I think it's just gonna be cold and windy and West Texas -y, you know in West Texas it's just windy a lot so it's gonna feel a lot colder but no snow or anything like that so got this done you guys are literally watching this the day before it comes out so today is January 13th 2023 
but really cool looking bowl, no epoxy. We're gonna do some epoxy projects here in the next couple of weeks or so, but really like how this one turned out. Just regular wood bowl. I don't think I've turned cherry wood before, but overall really happy how this turned out. Issues with the camera. It's uh, 7.15 in the morning. I gotta move some tumbleweeds over a little bit, but uh, I'm freezing because I live in Texas and we have two types of temperature. We have hot and we have cold. There is no in between. There is for about like two weeks. But anyway, hope you guys liked it uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And there probably will be a bonus video uh, later this week. So be looking out for that. So, all right, love this one. See you guys in the next one. Peace.